historical perspective on the art of violin playing since the beginning of the recording era. Yehudi Menuhin, Part 4 Listening to Yehudi Menuhin performing Legend by Vinyavsky. George Enesco conducts the orchestra de la Asociación de Cancer Cologne, recording made in 1938.
In the autumn of 1927, the Manuin family was still living in Europe, staying in Romania, where Yehudi continued his studies with George Enescu. Then, unexpectedly, a telegram arrived for Yehudi from New York, containing an invitation to perform at Carnegie Hall with the New York Symphony under the direction of the notable German conductor Fritz Busch. And specifically, Yehudi was asked to play the Mozart A major concerto. The invitation was accepted, but Yehudi set his heart not for the Mozart, but for Beethoven violin concerto. Fritz Busch must somehow be convinced that the 11-year-old child could make this task possible. Rumors said that the great conductor became furious after being informed about Yehudi's desire, saying, one doesn't hire Jackie Coogan to play Hamlet. But Yehudi was firm in his decision, and so the audition was arranged, and the 11-year-old Yehudi was summoned to the conductor's hotel suite. And, as it had happened before, Yehudi's playing left the maestra totally disarmed. You can play anything with me, anytime, anywhere exclaimed the conductor after listening to Yehudi's playing. The success of the concert surpassed all imagination. Lawrence Gilman wrote in the New York Herald Tribune, What you hear takes away the breath and leaves you groping helplessly among the mysteries of the human spirit. Listen now to a truly solemn performance of Handel's Prayer, arranged for violin and piano by Flesh. This recording was made in 1929, when Yehudi was 12 years old. <laughs>
that was Yudi Menuhin at the age of 12, playing Handel's Prayer, arranged for violin and piano by Flash, in a 1929 recording. Upon returning to San Francisco, Yudi resumed his studies with Louis Persinger. His repertoire had by then grown immensely. Brahms Sonata in D minor, Beethoven's Kreutzer, Concerti by Vivaldi, Mozart, Vietan, Vinyavsky, Bruch, Glazunov, and many more. In the year 1928, at the age of 11, Yehudi made his first recordings. We will be listening now to two of them. First, Sierra Morena by the Monasterio, and following that, La Capricciosa by Ries, with Louis Persinger accompanying on the piano. Thank you. 
was the 11-year-old Eudi Menuhin playing Sierra Morena by the Monasterio and La Capricciosa by Ries, with Louis Persinger accompanying at the piano in a 1928 recording. In that same year, Eudi made his first concert tour, which included Los Angeles, Chicago, Pittsburgh, Minneapolis, Cleveland, and New York. After this tour, Ehudi became the proud owner of the Stradivarius violin Prince Kevin Huller, which, as a matter of fact, the great Italian violin maker made in 1733 at the age of 90. At the beginning of 1929, Menuhin's family moved again to Europe. At this time, still four years before the Nazis rose to power, Berlin was truly the music capital of the civilized world. No great solo career could be launched without first succeeding in Berlin. And so, Yehudi's next step was to conquer Berlin. The famous so-called Mayflower concert took place on April 12, 1929, shortly before Yehudi's 13th birthday. Bruno Walter was the conductor, and three violin concerti were performed in one evening. Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms. This unforgettable concert made Albert Einstein exclaim, Now I know, there is a God in heaven. Following this concert, the same program was repeated in Dresden and Paris. In conclusion, we will listen to the poignantly moving performance of the Ave Maria by Schubert, which Yehudi Menuhin recorded in 1943.
that was Schubert's Ave Maria, recorded by Udi Menuhin in 1943. This concludes part four of our program dedicated to the great violinist Udi Menuhin. This program is part of a series of programs entitled An Historical Perspective on the Art of Violin Playing Since the Beginning of the Recording Era. My name is Yuri Belyavsky, and I wish you a very good day.